think we'll use you know, fairly standard industry definitions of cloud computing. So it's about shared computing resources, it's about self-service, um, it's about scalability, it's about pay-as-you-use. Um, and I think we think, again, like the industry, about cloud in three different flavors. We think about infrastructure as a service, uh, which is you know virtual storage, virtual processing power. We think about platform as a service, uh, which is kind of software components and middleware that can be combined together by users to create applications. And of course, we think about software as a service or application as a service as well. Yeah, I just don't think um, convincing is too difficult. I think the benefits of cloud within the government are very compelling. So the bureaus and departments in the government, they're not jealous about trying to protect their IT turf. They just want to use IT in the most, in the fastest, quickest, least painful manner to achieve their business goals and their policy objectives. And so where we can find uh, um, opportunities to, to um, relieve them of the need to do things for themselves because they can just get them on a common and sh shared basis. They're only too willing to do it. We've seen that in the last several years where we've been operating e-government infrastructure services like web hosting um, and the payment gateway as shared services for the government. Um, so moving to the cloud is really just a natural evolution uh, and we've had we've already done some studies uh, about particular cloud-based uh, services that we could offer around things like um, records management, collaboration, human resource management. Uh, the benefits in terms of the costs can be half the cost of, uh, of, of, a, of a portfolio of silo implementations. The implementation time again can be uh, half the time. So, uh, so actually the, the, the feedback from the bureaus and departments is very, very positive. And we have a management structure within the government about the way we do IT that is also very supportive. I think we see that uh, collaboration tools, better collaboration tools are very important and will be very useful to the government. Um, in many ways, many government employees are knowledge workers collaborating with other knowledge workers to produce um, documents such as policy papers and uh, answers to questions from the Legislative Council and so forth. Um, we've done some experimentation on using collaborate, collaborative tools. Um, really to kind of get a feel for the benefits of them and and uh, and so forth and really the I think all the participants in those um, experiments have been very very enthusiastic about them um, what we will do in our as part of our electronic information management uh, strategy is to build a collaboration platform uh, which uh, which can be used by anyone in the government um, as a kind of cloud-based service. And so that will, we, d we expect that maybe that will kind of grow quite virally in the government. The moment people start to use it, that they'll want to get uh, other people to use it. Um, and it'll also have the advantage that it'll make record keeping of the activities being done or the, or, you know, uh, on that extremely straightforward and we'll build in things like a workflow as well so that if any if at some point in the collaboration there needs to be a kind of a formal approval of something um, that can be rooted and recorded properly as well so uh, so I think uh, I, I think you know the era of email is probably reaching uh, reaching um, the kind of last phase and much of the work of the government will shift from email onto collaboration. I mean, that's probably a few years um, to, ha to happen, but uh, we'll, we'll see. I think OGCIO starts to need to think like it was a business in a way. We need to think like we're a cloud computing provider. So, um, so the bureaus and departments, when we're offering them cloud services or providing cloud services for them, they're customers. We need to understand their, their needs and we need to develop cloud products which meet their needs. So we have to operate exactly as a, as a commercial cloud-based company uh, would do. Now, the difference is we will probably not seek to build the private cloud completely in-house. We, we're m more likely to also want to rely on our partners in the commercial sector to host a private cloud for us. So we'll be a syndicator of cloud services rather than necessarily a manufacturer of them. But the way in which we deal with the bureaus and departments has to be absolutely focused on their needs. So our cloud strategy actually starts by building a smallish 
private cloud targeted at some very specifically identified business needs around e-government, around human resource management, around uh, information management, and f not for the whole government but for, for departments which have um, immediate needs in those areas. Once we have that cloud built, it's then a question of expanding the capability and the capacity of that cloud in a very kind of market-oriented way based on the needs of the departments. We won't just build cloud and hope that they'll come. We'll have to be, doing, we'll have to be treating them as, uh, as our customers. And internally within the government, we've set up a, a kind of a user group we may set up more user groups so that, uh, so that the development of the cloud strategy or the, you know, the development of uh, which capabilities should we make available and which products, which cloud products should, should be available to government departments can be driven by the user departments, not, uh, not by the OGCIR.